Hi everyone, my name is Matt Hubbard. I am Head of Operational Excellence at TrackVIA and a longtime citizen developer. I built my first app as a citizen developer over 10 years ago. That app took me eight hours to build, but saved me 200 labor hours annually. That's an efficiency gain of 25X in the first year. Since that first app, I haven't looked back. Citizen development is now fully integrated into my everyday work. But more importantly, I've made it my professional mission to teach and help others who desire to embrace citizen development as their own personal superpower. I define citizen development as the creation of useful business applications by people who are not professionally trained coders. If you are not familiar with citizen development, that probably sounds impossible or at the very least like a recipe for disaster. How can someone who doesn't know how to code create a useful business app? That's a good question. The answer is that you empower them with the right tools and guardrails. I like to think of effective citizen development as the combination of three elements, people, technology, and process. The first element, the people, they are the citizen developers. They don't know how to code, but they want to use technology to effectively address their business challenges. The second element, the technology, is the citizen developer's tool of trade. Specifically, this technology is a category of software that we call low-code, no-code, or LCNC for short. Through low-code, no-code technology, a citizen developer can assemble a highly functional application by dragging and dropping pre-built widgets instead of coding them. The third element, the process, is a management framework that provides guardrails for the citizen developer to assemble apps in a manner that is both safe and effective. These guardrails include things like training, best practices, and light touch governance. Though it can be tempting to pursue citizen development with only the first two elements, the people and the technology, I advise against it. I call this shadow IT on steroids. Excluding the guardrails of the process element can lead to unwanted risk, such as issues with privacy, compliance, and app performance. The good news is that we don't have to figure out these guardrails for ourselves because they are neatly packaged in PMI's citizen developer courses. To summarize, citizen development is the creation of useful business applications by people who are not professionally trained coders and effective citizen development includes three elements. Number one, the people, number two, the technology, and number three, the process. Try not to exclude any of them. The bottom line is that I am convinced through 11 years of experience that citizen development will have a significantly positive impact on the world of work. Through citizen development, the world will experience things like smaller project backlogs because IT and project managers can now draw from a larger pool of developers or a significant increase in efficiency and effectiveness as we step up from the frustrating world of spreadsheets, email, and share drives into the smooth flow of purpose-built apps. And finally, employees who smile more because they are empowered to make a difference. I believe all of this and more is possible because I have seen it. But there is a big caveat, like most things, for citizen development to be effective, it must be implemented with commitment and wisdom. Half-hearted attempts will likely lead to results that are less than desired. Some will try, quickly give up, and claim that citizen development doesn't work, while others will wisely learn from each iteration and through commitment, grow citizen development into a significant strategic advantage. If you, are or want to be the latter, I encourage you to connect with others who are similar. We are stronger together. Thank you.